What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you an Arranged War recap video. Uh, we did have an Arranged War against Jayoff that went down this weekend. As you see it right there on your screen, FFS taking the defeat 109 to 110 and Jayoff winning by uh, just under a, a whole percent in the total destruction department. And I will be the first to admit this was a very, very rough war uh, for FFS. Specifically, I would say our Town Hall 9s. A uh, very, 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 very tough war for our Town Hall 9s. Hitting at something like 30%, guys. Um, you know, we did require... I don't even I, I don't even know how many dips we had to use. Um, you know, for our Town Hall 9s dipping down on the, on the 9... Our Town Hall 10s dipping down on the 9s that we weren't able to clear. And it was really, really rough. Um... Where it could have changed a lot, as you see, we did get the one star loss, but if we go ahead and look at Jayoff's side of the map, right there, guys, these bottom two Town Hall 11s left one star, so very, very unfortunate, um, could have been, the tides could have been turned, you know, if, if we were able to clear those two 11s, so just all in all, it just was not the best war uh, by far that FFS has between our 9s and the 10v11 action uh, was definitely suffering to say the least. Uh, I will say as far as our dip game, uh, we did have one dip fail. Uh, the hit uh, that Captain Crunch did that wasn't a dip fail, that was, that was actually an 11v11 attempt that just fell short of grabbing, um, well, not only the two star, but the attempted three star. And, but I mean, as far as our dips, you know, we did just have one unsuccessful dip. But good job to us, the 11s. We also had three 10v10s, so it wasn't too bad as far as the our heavy hitter side. Um, but again, just fell short by a star. The breakdown, for those of you wondering, was a 520. Uh, the rest filled with 9s, this being a 40v40. But was a very, very good war. Uh, good game to Jay off, uh, getting the victory over FFS. I do want to show you guys a few... I mean, really, really good attacks. Um, we're going to show you guys one Town Hall 9 replay. If I can find it. This one right here, an attack we haven't seen for a while. Doing it with the Grundinator. Uh, we got poor self-control. Going to be starting over on the upper left-hand side of the base. So I will show you guys one Town Hall 9 attack. I'll show you all three of our 10v10s and one of our 10v11s. That was oh so sexy. Uh, but starting off with uh, the Town Hall 9 action... Uh, you see he did start that funnel up at 12 with that wizard because he wants his kill squad to meet up and enter uh, basically where the queen is. Uh, so queen on the right, notice he does have wizards on the left right at 9 o'clock where he's dropping down both of his P.E.K.K.A.s, going to be dropping down the healers, the king, and just going to flood the gates. He has six Valkyries in this army comp as well and does have bowlers that are going to be coming out of the CC. And didn't even bring a jump, guys. Didn't even bring a jump since he set that funnel. And plus, since the Valkyries and everything is aggroing onto the Queen, they're just going to beat through that wall under that rage. Uh, enemy CC comes out and does have a couple poisons to go ahead and handle that. Valk's trying to figure out what they want to do here. But if you see, the center of this base is... I mean, not basically, it, it, it has a dead core. So naturally, the troops are just going to be kind of walking around the sides here. But as you guys are going to see... Um, the queen is in the center though, sniping those defenses, doesn't have any healers on her, but does have that ability where he's going to pick up a few more defenses and still has a heal and a rage, uh, to use on, um, you know, this main push right here, uh, Tesla farm on the opposite end of the base by the king. But this attack is so strong, especially when you have air defenses on the back end where you can have, where you can have. The P.E.K.K.A. King funnel one side, the Queen Walk funnel the other. Everything meets up with six healers. Very, very tough attack, uh, to say the least, to try and defend. Even when it you know doesn't go exactly as you planned with the troops, uh, the majority of the troops walking around the base. Um, but all in range, though, since it has that dead core, all the defenses on the outside uh, ring of the base are all in range of his troops um, shooting them over the wall. Uh, with the bowlers, the wizards, 
and still has that P.E.K.K.A. up. Last defense is going to be that Archer Tower and just completely wrecks this base. Uh, so really, really good hit by poor self-control. Doing it with a Grundinator, an attack we have not seen in quite some time. So definitely want to get that attack um, recorded and shown for you guys. So that's the Town Hall 9 uh, attack that I wanted to show you. And we're going to go ahead and check out. Uh, right here, guys, we have Rahat. Um... I went in first on this base, went in fresh. Again, we had literally no scouts uh, from the Town Hall 9s, unfortunately. Um, so I hit this base, and what's good is um, Rahat, we were able to see where all the Seeking Air Mines were, which made the difference um, in the three-star when I went in and hit it. Rahat doing it, guys, with the Clone Bone. Notice he is dropping those loons down there where we knew uh, where the Seeking Air Mines were. You're going to see he's going to absorb another one on that balloon. There it goes. He still has 10 balloons and 8 dragons to deploy. Notice he did do a little uh, Kiwi walk down there at 6 to pick up 1 AD. Suicides the AQ over at 3 o'clock to not only funnel but pick up another air defense. Has a few loons to help out his drags on this main push right here. And he has 3 rages and a clone spell, guys. Fin finally finding a use for the clone spell at Town Hall 10. Uh, we have been seeing this attack a lot on dips as far as the 11v10 game goes. Um, but practicing in FC, we, we were finding a lot of success 10v10. There goes the clone spell, dropping that loon and a maxed hound coming out of the clan castle. Look at the, look at the value from these clone loons, guys. A and even under that raid spell, I mean, they're, they're getting all kinds of defenses and you're pretty much picking up, uh, five balloons for free. Because you're cloning the loon that comes out of the clan castle. Amazing value. Clone loons making it from 9 o'clock all the way to 12, guys. And he has all kinds of dragons up. All kinds of loons up. And ends up completely smoking this base. Amazing attack uh, from Rahat. And doing it with the clone bone. Again, ha I mean, we're starting to see it 10v10. Uh, Town Hall 10 is getting a lot of variety uh, with attacks as we've seen. And just adding another weapon to the Town Hall 10 arsenal using that attack right there. Very, very nice hit um, by Rahat on that one. Now we're going to go ahead and check out Scarface's hit. He's going to be doing this one with Mass Miners bringing five heals. Um, just going to be suiciding the heroes up at or over at 3 o'clock and down at 6. Uh, there's going to be a Hound Loon coming out of the CC. He is going to be bringing two poisons to make sure that he takes that enemy Loon down, which can be absolutely devastating uh, to something like a Mass Miner attack. And he is going to be having Miners coming out of the CC as well. Uh, he did drop a, a pair of Wizards just to create a nice funnel for the King so he stays nice and flush with that wall as he's going to be funneling here pretty quick. So there goes the Archer Queen down there at 6 uh, at six o'clock. And her job, I mean, she's not getting a lot of value as far as defenses go, but she is funneling the Miners, so they make it straight into that Inferno Tower instead of wrapping around the building, uh, taking out trash instead of defenses. Does have two heal spells already down. Uh, there goes the Poison to ensure that that enemy Loon goes down. There it goes. And he's just going to have all kinds of Miners up. And you see that Lava Hound not going to be doing a whole lot of damage um to those miners it goes ahead and drops the third heal right where he's taking all that expo damage as well as uh the miners getting locked on the clan castle in the center of the base so good heal uh right there and notice this heal spell catching all the edges of these defenses the expo the wizard tower the archer tower and the cannon um you know, be getting all that damage soaked up from those defenses, uh, just protecting all of those miners. He's gonna be, and the last defenses to go down is gonna be uh, up at 12 o'clock. And notice his queen is even still up, guys. She just goes down. So just got amazing value from his archer queen funneling um, that whole, pretty much that whole left side from six all the way up to nine. Uh, last defense actually to go down is gonna be that inferno tower. And he has just enough miners left, guys, to clean up all this trash. Lava Hound doing absolutely nothing. Uh, amazing attack uh, to Scarface on this one. Doing it with mass miners. All three of our 10v10s uh, came with different attacks as well. Okay, now we're going to check out our last and final uh, 10v10. Was it this one on number 17? Uh, we have Taz. 
uh, going to be uh, hitting right now. Doing it with a Queen Charge Lalo, guys. Bringing 10 Wall Breakers. What the hell is going on here? And not only that, guys, this was a fresh hit. Again, not getting any scouts from our Town Hall 9s this war. Um, kind of pinned the Town Hall 10s, you know, in a, in a corner where someone had to hit these bases fresh. And Taz going in fresh. Um, going to be completely smoking this base. Does have 18 loons. Going to get amazing value from this queen charge. Has 18 uh, camp loons. Has a hound. Uh, one camp hound and one hound going to be coming out of the CC. Has a nice rage. And the queen is in range of all those defenses. Uh, once his wizard tower goes down, he'll be deploying his wall breakers. Just make a good push and start a nice defense, uh, nice defense pathing for the balloons uh, once he starts the Lala portion. There goes the second rage right there. Uh, just taking out these cannons. Here comes the king going to be funneling all of this trash as well as he, his target is going to be taking out... Um, not only these air targeting defenses, but in hopes to grab that Inferno Tower as well, guys. Okay, so Queen Charge still going. There goes uh, the third Rage. So he's used three Rages. Still has one more Rage and three Haste to deploy. Um, it has a nice Poison right there. Uh, to go ahead and get that loon out of the way. And notice it wasn't a hound, guys. It was a, a golem uh, that came out of the CC. Uh, this Town Hall 10 probably anticipating a, a minor hit. Um, usually when we see that golem coming out of the clan castles. So he's also going to be getting the farm here as well. And again, this is a fresh hit, guys. Goes ahead and pops the ability. Grabbing both of those Teslas. Again, amazing value on this charge right here. And and gets that Inferno Tower down just in time uh, before the Archer Queen goes down. And here comes his Lalo starting at about 11 o'clock. Uh, sending about 8 loons in that Inferno Tower. Um, with that haste just assisting them. And also taking out a Tesla as well. Here comes the next group. Notice he is dropping a couple loons on these mortars uh, just to create nice pathing so they go from one end of the base to the other nice defense pathing as opposed to pathing outside of the base to grab those mortars uh, so really really good eye on that and getting good value and just really nice uh, balloon deployment on this attack all out of spells uh, but and notice his queen guys is still up she probably had about five hit points left on her uh, before that inferno tower went down so just getting really really good value from her and the last defense is going to be this wizard tower right there uh, and only has a pair of loons left all kinds of pups cleaning up and just like that guys taz getting um our third and final 10v10 of the war and we'll go ahead and check out uh, one of our 10 v 11 attacks before we wrap up this video. And it's going to be, was it number two? Yes, this one right here. An incredible queen charge uh, dragon attack. When I saw this, I actually got a chance to see this attack live. And I only saw five drags in the camps. Kind of got worried. I uh, only had five dragons. And usually when we see dragon attacks, I mean, you're bringing any, anywhere from... Problem. I mean, more than likely six to maybe nine. Um, so to see five, I thought that was really, really interesting. Uh, he did start off with a haste um, to start off. And basically what he wanted to do is start uh, to create a funnel for his queen as he does want her to walk through these buildings right here as opposed to walking up here. Uh, so just going to get really, really good value from this queen charge. Uh, CC came out no problem when he dropped that pair of hogs um, to go ahead and pull the enemy CC so he can deal with that outside the base instead of dealing with the CC with a bunch of defenses um, hitting on his queen. And he does have eight wall breakers as he's going to be charging in and going to be grabbing these air defenses, the enemy queen. Uh, does have four rages uh, to deploy still as well. And even has a few archers. Grab, I mean, any buildings that you can grab uh, to, you know, to increase your percentage uh, does have those archers grabbing uh, that dark barracks. But they're going to be dying very quickly to the rest of those defenses. Uh, second rage down uh, for his queen. He did break the 7 o'clock compartment where he's going to be entering in at this base. And there's not a whole lot of defenses. He's only going to be under 
fire from about one defense at a time. So again, just going to be getting incredible value from this queen charge. And with this huge compartment, not only is he setting a nice funnel for his dragons, but also picking up percentage as he goes along. Uh, eagle artillery down, which is only going to help the dragons as well. Um, so right when the eagle artil artillery activated, uh, queen took about two shots at it. And it went down. Here comes the king uh, over here at 3 o'clock. Again, just trying to set a nice funnel and also pick up percentage. Here comes the CC bowlers, guys, as he did break that 3 o'clock compartment with some wall breakers. Uh, and there goes a rage on the bowlers, just trying to set a really, really nice tight funnel uh, for these dragons. He's only got five of them. Um, so getting a nice funnel is absolutely critical on an attack like this. Here comes the dragons. And as you guys can see, once this clan castle goes down, there is nowhere for those dragons to go except into the town hall. He did have a, f uh, a few loons, uh, three to be exact, to help uh, with this push as well uh, to absorb traps and things like that. And those loons still in that rage, they're going to be collapsing on that inferno tower. He's already at 56%, guys. Uh, with this two star uh, so really really good execution uh, could not have done better myself uh, amazing amazing attack um, by Doan Su, which I believe is NECA, uh, which I believe is NECA on his Town Hall 10 and that's pretty much gonna wrap it up uh, for this video thank you for the bowlers win um, Jayoff, hats off to Jayoff GG taking the victory over FFS uh, 109 to 110 was the final and best of luck to Jayoff um, going into invite which is going down this upcoming weekend guys um, so at any rate very very well played uh, war to Jayoff and best of luck to you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from our arranged war with them if you guys liked the video uh, make sure you like comment and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.